I have uh, three toddlers, uh, four, three, and one. Um, I had them right out of school, out of college. I graduated, uh, found out I was pregnant with my son. I um, was going through postpartum depression after I had um, my son, um, which led to a lot of uh, turmoil within myself. Um, just mind you, I was really exhausted from school. I just completed school and now I'm stepping right into motherhood. And that was a big transition for me. Um, so when I uh, found out pregnant with my daughter, um, I didn't have a car then. I was still on a bus uh, with me and Ronald. I prayed for I asked God for transportation, I asked God for a house, I asked God for an income. So it was like the most um, hardest pregnancy I ever had to experience um, mentally and emotionally. I was even uh, considering the fact of aborting him. Um, me personally, as a spiritual person, I don't believe in abortions. I just don't. But something inside of me was just like, I'm just, I just, I just can't do this. I don't want a third child. I just graduated from college. I'm taking care of two toddlers and everything. It's not where I want it to be. I actually took forth the step of actually scheduling myself a appointment at Planned Parenthood um, because I was really just wanted to actually go through with the abortion. <clears throat> so, you know, there's people outside of the fence just like, hey, don't do this. Hey, don't do that. Hey, this is God's plan and stuff like that. You know, I actually got to the fence or whatever. Um, after, you know, just, just pulling up, the lady was like, hey, are you here for, you know, the abortion situation? You know, God loves you. Um, across the street, there was a uh, ultrasound uh, bus. So I, um, I didn't get to go on the Planned Parenthood um, with my appointment. I didn't get to go through with it. However, I did go across the street to this ultrasound bus. Um, in the ultrasound bus, um, I was able to um, get a referral um, over to another nonprofit. Uh, one of those uh, resources was uh, Women's Care Connect. Um, I got a phone call while I was at work actually and it was um, Teresa who is my um, um, advisor and so me and Teresa actually started to build this relationship and um, it actually helped me a lot because I was in a very dark place and I didn't want the baby. Um, I think she was really supportive of me emotionally to help me not to make that decision. Um, and so I even went as far as, you know, um, um, uh, slamming my stomach in the doorway, um, um, going down the steps, um, reconsidering calling the abortion people. But every time I got a thought of that, I did reach out to my advisor. And she just talked to me a lot. And it's kind of um, opened up to her, telling her how, how I felt, all the emotions I was dealing with. Um, and, and just having a sense of um, a history of postpartum, I didn't want to experience that. And I think that was my worst fear. I said he's perfect, he was worth it. He was huge, but he was worth it. Um, so um, he immediately gravitated toward me because I thought he looked a lot like me. He had my fat cheeks and um, nose and he was hungry just staring at me like, you know, and I'm just like, well, hello, you know, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, but from that moment, on, even to now, he's a mama's boy um, and, and, and I mean, he's very affectionate when it comes to me. And so we, we bond so well. Um, and I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to expect because um, I thank God for having him because I didn't want to have him and he made a big difference in my life. Um, he, um, I was able to actually get them um, um, a three bedroom house. Um, so we do have a three bedroom house we just moved into um, since December. Um, everything is going well. Um, I'm working still even with COVID. Um, it's kind of crazy, you with Tyler's in the house uh, during this situation, and he's so energized, like now, he's so energized. Um. <laughs>